what led to the third crusade and why was it significant the fall of jerusalem to saladin in 1187 was a shock to christian europe sparking a call to arms and the formation of a potent alliance the holy city's fall was a seismic event that reverberated across the christian kingdoms a shock wave that ignited the flame of a new crusade the call was answered by three of Europe's most powerful monarchs, Richard the Lionheart of England, Philip II of France, and Emperor Frederick Barbarossa of the Holy Roman Empire. Each monarch brought their unique strengths and ambitions to the table, forming a formidable alliance. Richard, known for his military prowess, was the key figure but his German counterpart, Frederick Barbarossa, was equally significant. However, the German emperor's participation was cut short by a tragic twist of fate. He drowned while crossing a river in Anatolia, causing the German contingent to fragment and strain the alliance. With the untimely demise of Frederick Barbarossa, the alliance was strained, but the determination to reclaim the Holy Land remained unshaken. The journey to the Holy Land was fraught with challenges, but the Crusaders pressed on, focusing on key coastal cities. Their path was a harsh mistress, with relentless weather, logistical nightmares, and persistent attacks by Muslim forces. Yet they persevered. The Crusaders, led by Richard the Lionheart, and Philip II took on the monumental task of besieging coastal cities like Acre and Jaffa. The sieges were brutal, the battles fiercely fought, but through sheer grit and determination, the Crusaders were victorious. These victories secured crucial footholds in the region, giving the Crusaders a glimmer of hope in their quest to recapture Jerusalem. But the Crusade was far from harmonious. Tensions ran high, particularly between Richard and Philip. Their disagreements were more than mere squabbles. They threatened the very fabric of the alliance. The victories were sweet, but the alliance was bitter. Despite the victories, the strained relations between the leaders cast a shadow over the crusade. The Battle of Arsuf marked a crucial victory for the crusaders, but the ultimate objective of recapturing Jerusalem remained elusive. The year was 1191, and the Crusaders, led by Richard the Lionheart, faced off against Saladin's forces in an intense pitched battle. The victory at Arsuf was a significant morale booster for the Crusaders, securing their control over the coastal regions of the Holy Land and paving the way for further advances towards Jerusalem. However, Despite these triumphs and the capture of key coastal cities, the grand goal of reclaiming Jerusalem proved to be a bridge too far. The city was heavily fortified and staunchly defended by Saladin's forces, presenting a formidable challenge to the Crusaders. Talks between Richard and Saladin hit a brick wall, and Richard, due to political considerations and the need to return to England, was compelled to call off his campaign for Jerusalem. The failure to recapture Jerusalem was a bitter disappointment, marking an end to Richard's campaign. The Third Crusade left an indelible mark on history, demonstrating the resilience of the Crusader states and leaving a complex legacy. Despite the failure to recapture Jerusalem, the Crusade was far from futile. It saw the consolidation of Christian control over key coastal territories, including the pivotal cities of Acre and Jaffa. This strategic foothold allowed for the continued Christian presence in the region. The crusade also underscored the resilience and determination of the crusader states. Facing formidable Muslim opposition under the skilled leadership of Saladin, the crusaders nonetheless managed to hold their ground and secure significant victories. Their tenacity was a testament to their unwavering commitment to their cause. In the grand scheme of history, the Third Crusade highlighted the complexity of the crusading era. It was a period marked by both fierce conflict and intricate diplomacy, by religious zeal and political pragmatism. 
Though Jerusalem remained elusive, the Third Crusade had left its mark, showcasing the determination and resilience of the Crusader states in the face of formidable opposition.